I think I was meant for digital because it's just the tool that I want to deal with and not the maintenance. As you think it, you can create it. The idea that you can sit in front of this box and craft extraordinary things that can be repurposed and published anywhere is phenomenal. My zen time is when I am just pointing and clicking away and endlessly manipulating Bezier curves. My chosen medium is Adobe Illustrator. It's the thing I feel most comfortable in and I think I probably wouldn't be doing what I do if I didn't have that as a tool. If you see me hold a pencil, I hold it like a five-year-old holds a crayon. It's really ridiculous. There's very different ways to work digitally. You can work digitally and still work in a very hand-hewn, handmade human way. Most of the work that I do by hand with lettering is really just part of my process of creating on the computer. My sketches are really just notes, so they don't have to be beautiful. I'll just take an iPhone photo of the sketch, and then I usually just drop that into an artboard in Illustrator to actually get the vector work in there. Daily Drop Cap was my first major project that I did that was sort of me putting myself out there and creating something online. I would draw a letter every single day and work my way through the alphabet 12 different times. Drop caps sort of came from this tradition of illuminated manuscripts. I really thought about all of these letters as being these like illustrative initial caps that you could put into your blog. It got traction almost immediately and so much came from it. Most recently, this Penguin Drop Caps project in which I'm doing 26 classic books. They created a dream project for me at Penguin, which is pretty amazing. I consider Illustrator my pencil on the canvas. It's how I plan my, my paintings. I create the basic elements in Illustrator, and then Photoshop becomes the paint on top of those vectors. I tried many different angles and I could just never capture Times Square. And then when these giant printers came out, I realized that was the way to show Times Square. It has to be big like the place itself. The actual perspective was created in Illustrator because of the sheer size of it. It actually measures five feet on the height and 25 feet on the width. The beauty of Illustrator is that since it's resolution independent, I can work very small and enlarge it without losing any detail. A lot of my scenes are neons and lights, so to have them actually backlit, it really brings out the brilliance of, of, of the image. So that's a whole new way of doing things is light boxes. Illustrator integrates into all of my projects at some point in the pipeline, guaranteed. It is resolution independent. It doesn't matter what size you're working on. You can design for a billboard. You can design for your smartphone. A calligram is an illustration that is made out of type. It's like a mosaic made of words. You're taking the type on a path tool tens of thousands of times per illustration. And everything's vector. The entire illustration, you can zoom in infinitely and you will get down to the smallest piece of type. The Steve Jobs piece is made of the ad that Apple ran in the late 90s, Here's to the Crazy Ones, the Misfits, the Rebels, the Troublemakers. And so I took that copy and the most iconic Steve Jobs look and illustrated him. When I posted this piece to DeviantArt, I thought, I just want to share this with people. In a few days' time, it explodes. Pretty soon, the counter's up to like over 100,000 views. The design director of Time Magazine sees my illustration of Steve Jobs, and he loves it. It's been an amazing adventure to look back over these years and to see how Illustrator starts as this spark of an idea and essentially explodes in all directions. 
Illustrator is just like a pen or a paintbrush. And it all goes back to starting a blank canvas and creating something out of thin air. At this point, it's like, surprise me. What else can you possibly come up with? They're magicians to me, these code writers. They just create these incredible tools. And for me, it's just more toys to play with. I think what we've been able to do is just release the creativity in people and allow them to think anything they want and be able to create it.